I'm gonna uh, start again. Fine, I'm gonna mute you all again. Okay. And pay attention very well, because if you have any question about any part, um, you can just raise your hand. So. I, as I told you, we're going to revise these three lessons together um, for the next time. I mean, as much as we finish any lesson, we're going to go direct to the other three lessons that we cover. So let's start with lesson seven five, uh, the one that we took, it, which was about fractions and mixed numbers on the number line. In the lesson, the fractions and mixed number on the number line in part one, we studied together how can we locate fractions on a number line. So that's a number line. If we need to plot any fraction on a number line, to represent this on a number line, look, First, this is zero and one. We count how many spaces are between zero and one. The fraction is not shown here, but why do we have four parts? Because our fraction is over four, okay? Now, according to the denominator, I don't know why the fractions are, not, are hidden, but anyway, if in the first fraction, as you see, between zero and one, we have two spaces. Why two spaces? Because the fraction is half. The denominator is two. So according to the denominator, to the number in the denominator, if you have two in the denominator, we need two spaces. If we have three in the denominator, we need three spaces. The first dash after the zero is one third. The second one is two third. If we have half, the first dash is one over two then exactly one over uh, one whole. Now here we have five dashes because we had a fraction with a denominator of five. So we write zero and one, separate the line to five spaces. The first part is one over five, then two over five. Look, we have one, two parts out of five. And the third one, one, two, three parts out of five. The fourth one, one, two, three, four parts out of five. And in the last one, we have five parts out of five, which is one whole, okay? Now in this example, what fraction represents the point A here? So if you look at this number line, we have zero and we have one. If you count the spaces, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight equal parts. Again, girls, we count the parts, not the lines. So in the denominator, we put eight because we have eight parts. Now we need to know what's the numerator. The numerator is the red point of A. If you count the spaces again from the first one, this is one, two, three. So three out of eight. This is a fraction, three out of eight, okay? Now, if we need to draw a number line and put fractions on that number line, Look at the fractions here. We have four over nine, three over nine, two over nine. So we're gonna have a number line from zero to one because that's not a max number. We don't have any whole number. So this is our line. In the line, we put, we divide it into nine spaces because the denominator is nine. Okay, so this is it, nine spaces. Now. It says order the numbers from least to greatest. Let's plot them. Four over nine is gonna be the fourth part. So this is one, two, three, four. There is, we're gonna be four over nine. This is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. Now, count the jumps. When you count two jumps, that's two over nine. Three over nine is the third jump, and four over nine is the fourth jump. So it's now ordered. Two over nine first, three over nine, and four over nine is the largest. So when you order them, you just put them as how we have them. Now, fractions and mixed numbers on the number line. If we have a mixed number, how do we plot the mixed number on the number line or how do we get uh, uh, how, how do we read the number, the mixed number from the number line? So look at this. If we first, we need to locate in this example, we need to locate these points, two whole and one over seven, one whole and five over seven, and 13 over seven on a number line, then we're gonna order them from least to greatest. So first, every mixed number you see, change it to improper fraction. So we have two mixed numbers, two and one over seven. Do you remember how we change mixed numbers to fractions? You multiply seven times two, 14 plus one, 15 over the same denominator, seven. And the other one, seven times one, seven plus five, 12 over seven. So now we have these three fractions, 15 over seven, 12 over seven, 13 over seven. Now look how is our number line gonna be like. It's a big number line from zero to one. So the improper fractions, we put them on the number line. Since we have whole number, we have two as a whole number, we have one as a whole number. So we need to put on the number line zero, that's the zero, and one, and two, and the biggest number that we can put here is three. Now look, between any two numbers from zero to one, we put seven spaces because the denominator is seven. So between zero and one, seven spaces. Between one and two, seven spaces. Between two and three, seven spaces. Now, there is the first fraction, two, and one over seven. So we jump from zero to one, one to two, so two and one over seven, just one part out of seven. So it's the last point here. This is two and one over seven. One and five over seven. Where is one and five over seven is gonna be after one because it's one and. Five over seven count five jumps. One two, three, four, five. So this is one and five over seven. Then the, the 13 over seven, you can, if you count the spaces from the zero, you can keep counting until you reach the 13 space. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep counting even after the one, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, or if you want, you can change the 13 over seven to mixed number, which is one whole and six over seven. In the end, you will get the same place of it. So this is how we write the mixed numbers on a number line. Lynn, do you have any question? Teacher, uh, can yeah. we draw, we should draw every line, like we can, Lini, we can- uh, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, that's, yes, better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, Annie. We should write every we we should draw every fraction or we should like um put only two out of seven. Lean so take uh again. <laughs> we should write uh, every line Yani we can divide them Miss Yani Lazam and Hot Kulwah Yani can we divide it? Miss, لازم بس Miss أختي قالت لي ممكن نحط بس two out of seven. مش لازم نضلنا نعمل dividing ولا بس لازم two out of seven. Like where? Like where to? 
بس يعني هاي اني اكزامبل بس لازم يعني نعملهم ديفايد 1 اوت اوف 7 2 اوت اوف 7 3 اوت اوف 7 لايك ذات هلا ديفايد ات انتو 7 سبيسز بس نو نيد تو رايت اول ذا نمبرز اوف ذيم يو جست نيد 2 اوت اوف 7 فور اكزامبل سو يو جست رايت ذات وان اوكي بس يو هاف تو شو 7 ايكوال سبيسز اوكي اوكي ذس از ماي كوسن نو نو نيد تو رايت اول ذا Like this example, يعني it doesn't need to write one over seven, two over seven, three over seven, four over seven, and then one and one over seven, two and one and two over seven, and so on. No need to write all the numbers. You can just write the three fractions that we want on it. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, hala, look at this example. That's another example. We need to draw a number line to show each of set of these numbers. Again, you can change the mixed numbers to fraction or you can change the fractions to mixed number. So step one here, we change each mixed number to m proper. So two and three over 10, when you change, the, when you change it to m proper, you get 23 out of 10. One and four over 10 is 14 out of 10. And the third one is already m proper, 12 out of 10. So we have 23 out of 10, 14 out of 10, 12 out of 10. And we have whole numbers, two whole, one whole. So on the number line, we don't draw the number line from zero to one only. We have, we have zero, one, two. But don't stop at two because it's two whole and three out of 10. So we write zero, one, two, which is 20 out of two and three. Now look how many spaces between each number, 10 spaces, because the denominator is 10. So we put 10 spaces. Now, in the next one, the 12 out of 10, for example, that we started with, count 12 spaces. So this, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we put 12 spaces. And then 14 out of 10, we put 14 spaces. Count 14 spaces, this is it. And 23 out of 10, this is 23 out of 10. Um, who is having question? Any question? Lean Abu Ramadan. Miss, I didn't really understand it. Hala, first, did you get why did we put the whole number zero, one, two, three? Did you get this point? Hala, the fractions that we have lean are two whole and three out of 10, one whole and four out of 10. So we have whole numbers. The whole numbers are one, two, so we need zero, one, two, but we don't stop only at two. Keep going till the next number, which is three. So these are three whole numbers. And then between each two numbers, you cut this to 10 spaces and count the jumps. 12 out of 10, count 12 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is 12 out of 10. 14, count 14 jumps. 23, you can count 23 jumps. Okay? Good. So let's go. So and you can write them as whole number or mixed number. It doesn't matter which one to write. And at step three, in the end, you just order them. Dana? Uh, miss, what if we have different denominators? Um, when you have different denominators, you should make the denominators the same. Okay? okay. Like in the lesson of the greatest common factor. Like, for example, if you have in the denominator 2, 8, 4, we can make all the denominators 8. So change them to common denominators, then work on cutting the spaces, okay? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, 
Um, let's go to the next lesson. So that was how drawing fractions on a number line. Now, in the next lesson, in the next lesson now, lesson seven, eight, Um, it's about equivalent fraction. That was a pretty easy lesson. Um, in this lesson, how to, you, to write equivalent fractions? You can use multiplication or division. So, you can multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same non-zero. You can multiply or divide by anything you want except the zero to get the equivalent fractions. How do we choose the numbers like, for example, three over eight? Why did we multiply by two, for example? It doesn't matter. You choose what do you want to multiply by. But whatever you choose to multiply, you have to do it for the numerator and the denominator, okay? But in division, you have to be careful. When you divide, you divide by a common number, okay? So, <coughs> this is way one that you can use for uh, writing equivalent fractions, is to multiply to get more complicated 